Hey, what's going on, y'all? So I uh, got rained out of work today, and um, I think it's a perfect opportunity to put a bilge pump into Micro M10. So y'all stay tuned. We're going to get this done. All righty then. So, um, like I said, today's the perfect opportunity for me to, to put a bilge pump in, especially since I almost sunk the micro when I went to that clear water lake the other day. So um, I'm going to show you first uh, everything I've got, what I need or what you would need uh, to put this little bilge pump in. I'll kind of go over the price with you as, as I show you. And then once I show you everything we're going we're gonna to use, then we'll jump right into it and we'll get this thing put in. All right, I'll just kind of lay this stuff out on the, on the deck up here so you can see it. Bought this little bilge pump. Uh, it's 600 gallons per hour. It's perfect, perfect size for this little boat. Got this at Walmart. I think it was 24 bucks. So we're going to use that. All right, got some clear. Whoop, got some clear silicone. Okay, those two right there. I think total was 29 bucks for both of those. Uh, then I had to go to a little hardware store in town and get the piece we need to hook the. Um, the tubing too and all that which I've, I've got that over in the floor it's just a three-quarter inch clear tubing do you see this is the this is what we're going to use to go through the back of the boat and uh, we'll drill a hole this will slide through uh, there'll be a rubber washer along with one of these uh, locking nuts and then there'll be another washer and another locking nut on the outside of the boat along with some silicone so that'll be how the hose uh, comes in from the boat this way and then the water will come out that way, this way, <laughs> um, you know, when we use the pump. So that right there was, um, oh, two more little things. And I got two pipe clamps that will just tighten down to keep the hose onto the pump and onto the back of uh, this piece right here. That was 16 bucks. And then I went by O'Reilly's, got a roll of 14 gauge wire one rocker panel and then i was i was worried about how i was going to make a little you know a little switch panel because this is an aluminum boat and it's hard to fish wire and stuff and get a hole big enough but it can be covered up and make it look right so the, the little pieces of plastic that they use to keep stock in in place you know in in, in o'reilly's i told the the guy that was helping me i said that's perfect that's what i need right there and i can make my own switch panel and he gave me one. <laughs> he pulled it off the shelf and just gave me one. That's perfect material. That's, I'd say that's probably not even an eight, probably a sixteenth, maybe an eighth, uh, just hard plastic. I'm gonna take my razor knife and cut that. I'm gonna make me a little switch panel out of it. And then that way, I'm gonna mount this thing right here. So I can drill my hole through there, big enough to where I can feed my wire. You won't see it and then drill that black panel to that with the rocker switch on it so it should look good so anyway we're going to jump right to it and um, i think the first thing we will do is take the deck up right here and then try to fish our wire so we'll, we'll have or drill our hole and then fish our wire and then we'll go from there First, I think uh, I think I'll cut this. I'm going to cut this piece of plastic first, uh, really, just to see how big it needs to be and whereabouts it needs to go on here to make it look right. So then I'll know how big of a hole I can drill, and then have to be able to fish my wire through here. So we're going to get this cut first. I think I'm going to make this a little bigger than it probably needs to be because I'm going to add some more. Um, eventually, I'll add some more switches to this. I'll have one for a, a lights on here that I'm going to put eventually.
there we go. I kind of changed my mind just by looking at it. Uh, I got this cut and I wanted to put it farther over here, but I think it will be easier to fish my wire if I put it over here uh, because there's a little open space right here that you can't really see. See that little space right in there? And if I drill my hole, I can chip away that styrofoam that's inside that bench and pretty much get that in there. Um, you know, I've got enough of that left. I may, no I don't. I could try to cut that angle and make that look a little bit better. But, uh, but anyway, that, that's where it's gonna go. I've changed my mind on where it's gonna go. So, all right, let's get it put on there. All right, so I changed my mind again. <laughs> Uh, instead of mounting it over here like I was going to do, I'm now going to mount it here and I did cut that angle on it. So, you can see that's going to look nice right there. And it's perfect. It's going to be perfect right there. Then I can fish my wires right inside that hole right there and I don't have to go as far to fish my wires. So that's going to be a lot easier. I can drill two holes here and I'll be able to put probably three switches on there if I need to. One for my, my lights when I eventually get them on here. One for the bilge pump, uh, one for just auxiliary, whatever I need to do, you know, a phone charger or you know, whatnot. Anyway, that's going to work out perfect, so let's get, let's get to it. You see I got all three holes drilled. Eventually that will be uh, three switches. And um, I really got a good level, I can tell you. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, that's going to make it so much easier to get my wire uh, passed through there. All right, so I'm fishing the wire through there. Got both the wires fished through. Yeah, that's going to turn out good there. So that'll work. And the reason I put, I just bought red wire, so I put black electrical tape on the end of that one. That one right there in my hand. Just so I'll know which one the negative is going to be. Just tie me a little knot around this to keep that from accidentally pulling through as I do my deal back here. Okay. All right, that's got that. Now we're going to move back here to the back of the boat. We're going to get the bilge pump mounted and then we'll connect to it. All right, let's get this boy on here. I wish my drill bit was a little longer. <laughs> oh, man. it is. The bilge pump just snaps in. Like so. Get our wires over this way. We'll make our connections over here. Okay. Before I get any further along, I've got, I've got all the wiring done and I'm going to just kind of talk you through what I did. Um, so basically this is just a, a three-prong rocker switch that I bought. And 
Each, each one is, they're all pretty much going to be the same, but it, this one's got a little diagram on the back of it. Um, you can kind of see, well, you can't really read it, but uh, the, the top prong uh, says earth or ground negative. Uh, your middle prong is going to be your load, uh, or, or I'm sorry, your, um, your fixture or your LED, or in my case, the bilge pump. And then the bottom prong is going to be the supply from the battery. So what I did is I came out of the, the three prongs. You can see there's my negative to my battery right there. I've got it flagged with a black. Got all these ran back to my battery. Then I've got the, the negative coming from, I'm sorry, to right here. The negative from the switch to here. The positive from the switch to here. I've got the positive from uh, the bilge pump going to the LED or supply. I'm sorry, to the fixture setting on the switch and then the negative of the bilge pump to my negative and we'll kind of pull over here and you can kind of see this thing work so that's the off and hopefully you'll be able to hear this as well but you flip this on you kind of hear the bilge pump running and there we go so i got all the wiring done uh, next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to finish up the panel right here get it drilled, get it mounted, get the switch actually on. So this will be all finished up here. Then I'll start on this back here where I'll run my tubing. And I've changed my mind. Instead of, it's, it's pretty thick, this back part of it, because there's some plywood behind there. I'm actually going to come out of the top right here, uh, which, you know, a lot of your boats have that. The only thing I'm going to have to add is some type of a 90 degree fitting. So when the water, if I ever use it or when I use it, it's going to blow the water out and not up and back over into the boat. So, but we're going to go on and install it anyway. That's, that's a simple fix. That's literally screwing a 90 on and it'll work. So that being said, I'm going to get back over here and knock this panel out right there. So I got the switch mounted on my little panel right there. See, it works good. And I'm fixing to put it in here and I've got some self-tapping screws. I've only got three left. I thought I had a whole box of them, um, but apparently I don't. So. I'm going to make my holes with my screws, um, or pre-drill them actually, and then uh, I'll go back with just some other, just some sheet metal screws and go back in there and, and screw this thing on there. So that's what we're going to do next. Looks pretty good. All right, so next, we're gonna to move to the back. I'm gonna get this one part drilled through uh, right here where I've decided to change and put it. So we're gonna get that drill with my hole saw, uh, get this piece installed, and then we'll be on a road. Put on a rubber washer. It's just going to kind of protect the protect my boat. Okay. We're going to screw this down. All right. Then we put that washer on. Last ring. Okay. Give it a twist. All right, looks pretty good. All right, so next I'm going to grab my tubing and my pipe clamp. Okay. There's my clear tubing. I'm gonna go on and feed the feed the pipe clamp on there. Push this tubing up on the bottom of this. 
sink it all the way up. There we go. Then we take and just tighten up our pipe clamp. That's got that. There we go. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to kind of figure out how much of this tubing we need because you don't want too much and you don't want you don't want to kink it. So Okay, I've just got a PVC cutters to cut this. Make a nice clean cut. You see. All right. I'm gonna put this, push this onto the bilge pump, and then roll our clamp down. Get my screwdriver. I lost my screwdriver for a minute. Folks, that is a wrap. Let's check it out. All righty, well, we're all done. You can see my little panel there. Let me kind of get a I'll zoom in on her there a little bit. That turned out great, huh? Perfect little panel. And I'm going to have a couple more switches beside it. Um, I've got a labeler. I'm going to put uh, whatever it happens to be. I'm going to put that above it. I'll put bilge above that switch and lights above another one or you know, whatever I need to need to put in here. All in all, about fifty dollars total. The only thing I have left to do is get a ninety to screw onto that to where it'll it'll shoot it out that way. And you see, there it is. Bilge pump is ready to go. Uh, Six hundred gallons per hour. It's all this little boat needs. I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm. I'm I'm pleased as I can be with it. Now I don't have to worry about it. if I'm stupid and I forget my plug. Um, I'll just turn the switch on <laughs> so I can get back to the bank and fix it. I think it looks pretty good. Everything is neat. And more importantly, it works. So I will see you guys next time from the water. And hopefully I won't sink the boat this time. This is Jonathan and I'm out. We'll see you.